Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we are back working on our SR-71 and I think we're going to actually work on the engines again. Uh, we got this thing flying last time, which was amazing. I didn't think it would do as well as it did, but it did. Uh, but it didn't go as fast as I wanted it to and I kind of expected that with the uh, the engines that we built. So today we're going to jump in, we're going to tear these engines apart a little bit, we're going to add some more stuff to it and hopefully we can get, uh, we can get a faster speed out of this. Uh, so yeah guys, let's not waste any more time, let's go ahead and grab this thing and let's jump on the workbench. Alright, so let's see, first things first, let's go ahead and before we forget, let's throw our mirror mode on. Uh, that will help us build here. Uh, let's just double check that. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're just going to tear all of this out. Uh, we're not going to break stuff. There we go. We'll get rid of all that, we'll get rid of all that, and we'll get rid of all of this. Now we can actually see inside and see what we're doing. Look at all this extra space we have. This is really good. Okay. And we got some extra space here. Now I did come in here and rework this a little bit. Uh, thanks Mike for helping me out, I appreciate it. Uh, we had issues that we were getting uh, up to top speeds that this thing was actually kind of bending a little bit and it wouldn't come out. So it was causing some issues with the tracks. So I just added a couple more tracks here on the bottoms to uh, help with power issues. And then we added some to the top to kind of help with when it kind of comes back and forth, there's not this uh, slight up and down pitch to it as it's pushing, uh, as it's pushing back on these pivots here. So that actually alleviated a lot of the pain uh, with that. Uh, so we've got a little bit of space here. We can move forward one, and then that leaves us all this space here for more of these guys. So let's go ahead and plop some of these in. We can do one, two, two, and three. And that only leaves us one space here for some fans. Um, what if, so we lose one like this. We, we just add two more of these guys to it. That'll give us a little bit more power here. Why am I not able to do this? Ah, because we're dipping into our gas can here. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Not a problem. That one can go there. That one can go there. We'll just continue this little uh, path over. Uh, let's see, we'll get some straight pieces. Uh, that can be a T piece there, and we need an angle like so. All right, that gave us two more turbines and hopefully a little bit more power here. Uh, so what we're gonna do, let's move, we're gonna move some of this back, which means our fuel line is also gonna have to move. Uh, that's unfortunate, uh, but we'll get it done. All right, so we're just gonna copy all of this and it looks like it's gonna grab some triangles. That's okay. Ooh, and it's gonna move this pipe here. Uh, okay, this will be fine. Uh, that'll make it easier for us to uh, fix it later. Just bring that back like that. We'll paste it. Okay, perfect. We wanna do this to this other side as well. Clear, cut, we wanna slide it back, paste it. Uh, let's go ahead and merge these guys into place. There we go, nice. Now we got a little bit of room here to work with. Uh, fans, 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 fans. Um, do I have room for the big fans? If I do, that would be amazing. <sighs> I think we do. I think we've got room for these guys. Let's, uh, let's make sure that, okay, one, two, three. Oh, we can get four in here? That's perfect because that's about the max that these things can work at when you stack them. Oh, that's great. That is great. Okay, so we got the pipes there. This is working out a lot better than I was thinking it was going to. Okay, so let's figure this out. We've got power for our fan here. Uh, I think I'm gonna run a separate line down to these guys. And the reason is, is that we can change the gear ratios on these separate from our actual fans. So let's go get our pipes. We're gonna do a T-piece there, there, and there. We're gonna bring a straight piece all the way back to here. And somehow we've got to get from here to there. So let's go down, we'll angle down, perfect. Uh, and now we can just kind of come in here with some regular pipes. I do want to do this though. I want to see just, okay, that's perfect. So we can do this. I want to see what that actually clips with. So we'll bring all this back. I think we're going to be good here. Yeah, I think we're actually good here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put a T, no, we'll put a corner. Where is that piece at? Pipe angle corner, like that. And then we'll just kind of, Zigzag back up and forth. There we go. Perfect. Oh, and then we can actually get these in here. Okay, cool, cool. Very cool. All right, so now I've got to, hmm, gearboxes. Gearboxes on this route. Is there a spot for it? No, there's not, but we can hide them under here just so they're not stuck up on top. Uh, and I think that'll be okay. So let's go and we'll just rework this pipe here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a gearbox there and there, delete that. We'll rehook up that one there and then we're gonna just come out an angle here. And we'll just do the same thing. We'll just come down and, uh, and we'll hook up into this guy here instead. Uh, perfect. All that will work. Okay, let's get that the right way. And this needs to be a corner T-piece. Yep, corner T-piece. There we go. Now all that is piped in. Perfect. Let's go ahead and give one of these three to one. And I think 
three and two to one on there. Yeah, I think we're going to be maxing out here. Let's run this. Okay, so I'm just going to close this back up. And then I'm going to close this side back up. That should have worked, I hope. I hope that worked. Uh, let's go ahead and test that. Okay, did it break? Oh, I've got some pieces there. Hang on. Can't be flying with holes in the wings here. We can fix that. We'll fix this. And I did notice, oh, we got some underside pieces here. Those little guys are getting a little sneaky. Uh, I did notice that on the backs of these nacelles, like right about here, there's actually like some vent holes uh, for like air passage and stuff for the way these work. Uh, and I don't know where these need to go and how these should, I, do we even make these function or we just do these for sheer looks? I think these are just gonna be sheer look. Well, let's just do that. We'll just kind of plop a little thing in here. And that would just kind of be that little indent that we see on the, uh, the nacelles here. We can do the same thing right here. We can just put a little block there. That just gives a little bit, I guess, greeble is the right word for that uh, on the back sides of those. All right, cool. Let's get this thing in the air. Let's fly it. Will it spawn in correct? Okay, wheels come down. Might work on that a little later so the wheels are spawned down instead of up, but we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I'll have some clipping issues there. Uh, let's get in here. Let's go ahead and close our canopy. I'm going to start the engines. We're just going to use... 30% for right now, just to get ourselves in the air. Oh, oh, um, yeah, we did a thing. I did the same thing I did last time. Uh, let's come in here and, no, why? We should have fuel. Why don't we have fuel? Did I spawn it without fuel? I did, because I was doing some testing. All right, it's got fuel in it. Now let's give this thing a go. All right, up on wheels, let's go. Close the canopy, engines. Again, let's try 30%. Why, why? We've got fuel, come on. Why? Interesting, okay. Hmm, what have I done here? What have I broken? Ah, I didn't hook the fuel back up. Okay, that would make sense. Okay, we can do this. Simple fix. We'll just go back like that. We had fuel, we just didn't connect it. Now, can we get this thing flying? All right, canopy, engines, thumb throttle, cranking it. Yes, nice. Okay, come on, Blackbird. Let's get out of here. Let's get in the air. Okay, let's do the landing gear. Nice. All right, what are we doing? 174 meters a second, just at 42%. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and hit 100. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Something tells me I have more power on one side than the other. That's new, okay. Yeah, why do I have... Interesting, okay, uh, we've got another little thing here to test. Oh, can I grab it? Can I grab it? Uh, is it because of maybe? It is, I set the gear ratio to this side of three to one, you know what? I don't even feel like it was, that side was slower and we had more out of this side. Okay, so let's just do it at one to one and let's see if we get any kind of increase in speed just by having those fans there. The combination of the fans and the jet fan work really well together. We just gotta get it working right. All right, so let's get this thing off the, get off the ground. Come on, should be nice and smooth. Look at it, it just wants to fly. It really wants to fly. Okay, landing gear, perfect, 175. So it didn't change anything by changing the, uh, the gear ratio there. Let's go up to 100%. All right, we're doing 220 something meters a second. If we can get to 300, that would be awesome. I don't think we'll be able to get to 300 down here, but let's, uh, this is a high altitude aircraft. So let's take it up to high altitudes and see what it will actually do. All right, as we gain altitude, we are gaining speed. Uh, that is awesome. Oh, 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 come on. We need to go up higher. Uh, let's turn off player damage here so I don't freeze to death while testing this. All right, we, we seem to be kind of maxing out here. If I give it more throttle, we don't get any more power. It doesn't sound like we get any more power past 100. We might have to figure some stuff out there. Uh, let's get more height here. What are we at? We are only at 5,000. Let's hit the, uh, the 15,000 mark and see what we're doing up there. Again, this is a high altitude aircraft. We've got to get to uh, 767 miles an hour. That is going to be our Mach 1. I know this thing did Mach 3, but uh, we're going to do what we can here. All right, we just hit 300 meters a second. Uh, we're getting close. We're getting close. All right, here we are. We're about to hit 15,000. I don't want to go up any higher because we are going to start losing controls here uh, due to the space DLC. Uh, but what are we at here? Oh, my gosh. We're so close to uh, Mach 1, you guys. We're so close. Oh, oh, oh. Boom. We just did it. Mach 1. 768. We, get, we had to hit 767. Okay, so cool. This thing will actually do Mach 1. Um, can we go faster? Can we go faster? Let's get in. Where are we? Holy crap, we're way out here. We did hit Mach 1, though. That is super awesome. Uh, let's mess with these fans a little bit. We'll go 9 to 5 on these. I just want to see if that does us any difference. Whoa, where am I going? All right, let's get out the gate. Let's take off landing gear. And 185, almost 
Yeah, we're doing a lot more speed. A lot more speed here. Okay, so this is going to be a tweaking game here. All right, so we're doing 190 at... I'm not, I want to call this sea level. It's not sea level. We're definitely not at sea level, but we are de definitely... Uh, we're on the ground floor here. Uh, and we're doing 189, 190. Let's see if we can increase this a little bit. Because if we can increase it down here, then it's definitely going to increase up here. I've really got to fix that tail section. We are doing that today. We're going to fix that. All right, we're grabbing it. Let's come in here and see if we can up these a little bit. We'll do two to one. I noticed once we got once that one was up three to one, it was definitely slower on that one side, and that's where we had problems. Uh, and if I can't figure this out during the video today, guys, I will tweak this. I'll I'll do some off off time uh, off off screen time with this, uh, just to get this uh, tweaked and uh, up to speed here. Because uh, I'm super excited to get this on the workshop for you guys. I want you guys to play with it and tell me what you guys think of it. Uh, let's get out of here. We'll use a hundred again as our example point. Let's get in the air, landing gear. What are we at? 170, 180, 188. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're kind of hitting that point where we're right there, 190. We're not gonna be able to do any faster. And I think we're just, you know, we're just hitting the limits of Stormworks plus, the, you know, the size of this thing. Um, let's take this back to the hangar, if I can find it. We, we did Mach 1. We did Mach 1. I mean, I'm happy with that, uh, considering the size of this vehicle. Uh, let's bring it into the workbench. I do want to fix a lot of this today, and I'm out of room. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. Let's take this over to the train yard over there, which will give us a little bit more room here to build this out and fix our nose here. And I think we should be able to still bring this back and spawn it into the hangar. Uh, you can kind of go over a few blocks with the build areas and you're okay. All right, let's scoot on over here to the train yard. We got a little bit more room here to work. I want to make it work where it spawns into the hangar because I know a lot of you guys don't have the industrial DLC and you won't be able to spawn it here. And the only place that you could spawn it at Sawyer would be a boat yard uh, or in the water. So that's not good. Uh, so we've got to make it where it spawns into the hangar for you guys. That way you have multiple options of where you can take off. Uh, but let's jump in here. Yes, okay. First things first, I want to just come up here to the nose. Uh, they've got like a little antenna here. We'll just go RX. I think we can just grab the, lar oh, the large one. That looks pretty accurate right there. Let's come to the back here. Uh, this here, I don't know how to fix. And I think what I'm going to do first is fake some of these control surfaces. So we're going to cut some of these guys here. We're going to cut this. All right, that's going to be one control surface. We're going to cut, paste. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to flip it, paste it again. So now we should have... Yep, control surface is there. Now we're gonna do the same thing up here. If we can get all of that, how much of this do we want? Uh, sure. Cut, uh, paste, bring that over to here and paste that. Did that do I want it to? Okay, cool. So we've got control surfaces there and we can put some hinges in here and make this look like it's actually doing something. Now the other one that we gotta do is these guys here. And these guys are a little more funky. They have like an angle to them, which we're not gonna be able to do. We're not gonna be able to do this, uh, this weird, angle here with our pivots, but we can come across here. So I think what we'll do, and we've got a lot of rebuilding to do in here too. So we'll grab all this, grab all that, grab all that, grab all that. We're just gonna grab all of it and we'll grab all of you. Ooh, do I wanna just go maybe there? That might be what we need to do. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's cut that. Actually, let's res, no, I messed up. Okay, let's resize this to there. And I also wanna cut it like there. Cut, paste, come over here, hit U to flip it paste now we should have separate control surfaces there nice okay so let's finish uh we need to fill in this bottom and actually what we can do is we can just reuse one of these right yeah okay so this can come over here all right paste that flip this around paste that then we can merge these all together merge merge i know these are a little thick but uh it is what it is we're having to work with the uh the restraints of stormworks so yeah all right, so that's done. We can fill in a lot of that, actually a lot of that. And what we'll do here, just so this stuff can actually flex in here, is we'll just give it a little bit of uh, movement room there. We might have to do the same thing here, give these guys a little bit of movement room. I don't know, I don't know. Um, We're gonna leave it like that for now, until I figure this out. Okay, so let's get some hinges. Hinges, and I think we're gonna use the doors because they're a little more uh, smooth. All right, is this gonna work like I want it to? Something like that, something like that. Paste it like that and like that, and cool. I did it on both sides, uh, even though we'll probably have to reverse it. But we're gonna hook it all up to find out what actually works and what doesn't. Um, so let's come in here, we're gonna do the same thing. Three, three, knock you out. And we should be able to do like that. Merge it, merge it, merge it. And those are pretty good. Uh, I just, this section here is just gonna drive me crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and hook these up to our gyro. 
we're gonna go pitch is not being used uh, right now let's see y'all is gonna be these guys and then we'll just uh we're gonna jump in test it and see which way these guys are going and let them probably probably the wrong way probably the wrong way uh, so we'll do roll here roll here but this will be a good visual of what we're doing um where is it oh okay okay so oh okay not worried about that not worried about that okay so y'all y'all is broken and roll is backwards okay so y'all I need to I need to fix the right side. Both right sides need to be fixed. Okay, and yeah, stuff needs to be welded. That looks terrible. Copy, cut, cut, flip, paste. Merge that with that, that with that, that with that, and that with that. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing here. Copy, copy, cut, flip it, paste it, and merge, merge. So that should be good. Now we just gotta put uh, some sort of control surfaces into these. And a lot of this needs to get out of the way because this stuff has to move. And all that comes up to a point anyway. I, mean, I don't know how we're gonna figure this out. I do not know how we're gonna figure this out. So let's do this. We're gonna come in here. Let's cut some space out of this. So we can actually see what we're doing. We'll put a block across there. We'll get our hinges back. Where are they? Like that. Can I put a hinge in here? That's gonna interfere with that. Okay. Hopefully this is strong enough. What if we just come over here and do it? So it can actually have some, have a little buddy here next to him. Another little hinge buddy. Can we uh, go across there like that? And we'll take you and we'll move you to say like, there and then you can have another buddy help you out like right there perfect okay so now let's merge where's merge we need to merge you with you nope 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 undo i need you with you nope undo okay we gotta get rid of more 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 block here more block merge you with you you with you okay you and you with you now we fill this back in that did not work fill that back in okay and this goes to pitch where is pitch 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 here does this work right and does it clip with anything Spawn it in. Okay. Y'all, y'alls. Pitch, pitches. Okay. We might have to put a clamp on these just so they're not so uh, over responsive. And then, and then, okay. Roll. Oh, this is really cool. Why is that one going up so much more? Why, why is that side stronger? Interesting. All right. Now, how do we get this back to a point and looking good? I don't know. Um, we're going to have to do some trickery here, which is probably what's going to happen like this. And then don't know i don't know i've got to get from that to this really like it's a it's a pointy shape it's got to look like that sort of maybe all of this isn't put all this as part of yeah hang on it's a thing we might have to do just for the sake of being able to move in and out of here okay so cut paste we're gonna merge that with that oh okay why why did you do that i want to cut that out too clear cut the whole thing paste it back is it just similar colors it's very we're running out of color options is what it is look how close those purples are okay and then we can put those to that okay so now just that's gonna move and then we can figure out how to get this to a point because we really need to and i don't know how okay so let's do these instead let's do these long guys maybe something like that i just don't know what we're doing here this is really tough you guys really tough um uh, but whatever we got we got the blocks we got we're gonna do the best we can and that kind of that kind of looks like it it actually feels like it comes down further honestly like that and then this is just kind of filled in like that maybe I, I think that's where we're gonna have to go with it you guys it's this is a real struggle here um actually let's go back once so everything matches up and we'll just call it we'll just call it done it's the least interesting part of the plane so whatever that can go into there then we'll go ahead and grab some of these We'll do that, do that, do that. I don't know. I just don't have any clear pictures of the back section here. The back feels really, uh, I don't know, really hard to manage here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's do those. And then we'll just put a little block here and fill that like that. And then, geez, I don't know, guys. This is really a weird section here. Do I just flatten the back like that? <sighs> I really don't know what to do here. This back section is just so weird. Oh, oh, maybe. Maybe this will uh, be the best that we can get back here. This is so ugly. It's so ugly. Uh, from there, like that. Okay, you know what? Honestly, that looks a little better than it did. Uh, what if we now try and fix it? Oh, it doesn't look terrible. Oh, it just looks, I don't know how to change this. This is such a weird little section. All right, you know what? I'm gonna call that done right there. I don't wanna mess with this anymore. I feel like I'm just wasting a lot of time trying to get this tail section right. And it just, it looks weird. It looks weird. Um, how do we do that? How did I do it up here? Lots of those. Yeah, this might be one of those things that we come back and uh, we come back to visit just to fix real quick like. Okay, so engines are done. Engines are repaired. Aileron systems are working. We'll have to probably put like a little clamp on those to kind of keep those from going so crazy. 
I'll uh, I'll see how it feels when I start flying it. Let's uh, I really, you know what? I think it's time. I think it's time. Let's do it. <gasps> it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look at it. Okay, so I know um, we're gonna have to do some work here. Uh, we could probably come in later on and do some paint blocks, but I just want to see what this looks like if we just come in here and actually paint some of these things red like they were. All right, over here, there's like a little bit of red that like comes down like this. There's a little bit of red here. And then on the inside of the engines, let's see if I'm trying to look at this picture the right way. There's a little bit of red here. And then this comes like this, comes across, comes across here like that. Then it comes up, whoops. And this is just to kind of get an idea, you guys. And I think we can always come, we can come back later and actually really do some extreme painting on this. Uh, and then it starts to come out like that. It abruptly kind of does this and then up the side and then it kind of stops. And then there's like a red dot there, a red dot there, and like a red dot there. And then you got a whole bunch of stuff up here marking the canopies and things. There's like a little red dot like on these sides here. This is just all for reference, you guys. I'm just trying to figure things out and then we can kind of come back and really make this look nice. Yeah, and then I think you got a lot of uh, emergency hatch kind of stuff. There's like red there, or is it there? I think it's there. And then that comes down to like there. So it's like another red dot there. And then you got some like red under the captain here. And then you got like a little bit of red on the nose or something like that. All right, so that lays out all of that. Man, that looks sweet. Uh, let's fix this. I don't know if I like that. That looks pretty good. That looks really good, you guys. Um, there is one more thing I can do. Uh, and let's try this. I've got, a, I don't want to do XML on this, but I do have an XML uh, five by five light that I could shove in here and we could get that orange glow that, you know, these engines actually produce. I'm not going to do that today. I want to I know what you guys think. Uh, should I use XML on this just for the sake of making these engines look good? I know I could use XML windows and then there's a lot of XML blocks I could use. I'm trying to keep this as vanilla as possible, but that's one of those little details that, you know, just, just putting that into the engine would uh, make it look really good. Oh, this thing looks so good, you guys. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna come in here. I think uh, I'm gonna do some paint blocks on a lot of this and uh, that'll uh, that'll neaten up a lot of this, but let's go ahead and get this thing in the air. It looks sick, painted black. Oh, this is so good. Speed that up. There we go. First flight with a new paint job. There we go. And you can see our nacelles, they are retracting as we gain speed. And they're about halfway. They can go a little further here. Okay, landing gear. Let's get that up. Should be nice and snug, and all that looks really good now. Uh, can I roll this over? Do I have the gyro on? Yeah, let's take the gyro off. I want to roll this over just so we can see the belly of it. Okay, so I got a little work there to do. Oh, I didn't finish some of this bottom section. Okay, all right, so I got to finish that bottom section, and then, uh, yeah, we're good. But guys, I think we're pretty much good for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you 100%. Uh, we are super close. As you can see, we're super close. We've got a nice, sweet little paint job on this thing, and uh, yeah. We're gonna be uh we're gonna be done here soon. I gotta fix those rudders. I gotta fix those. But yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you and we will see you in the next one.